Hello and welcome to Official Xbox 360 Magazine's OXM Report. Now, we know that on Friday a lot of you are going to be upgrading to one of these, a new Xbox 360. So we thought we'd put together a little guide to help you move from the old to the new. One of the first things you're going to want to do is transfer all of your profiles, save games and downloadable content to your new Xbox 360. By far the easiest way of doing this is with a hard drive transfer kit which costs about £15. All you have to do is plug it onto the old hard drive and then plug the other end into your new Xbox 360 and follow the on-screen prompts. Choose the option that says yes, transfer to console. The Xbox will show you a detailed breakdown of how much space is required to copy over all your data plus how much space is available on that massive new hard drive of yours. Assuming you just want to copy all of your content, click on the Start button. Alternatively, if you don't fancy shelling out for the hard drive transfer kit and you have a USB stick like this snazzy Forza Motorsport one, you can always copy the files from your old Xbox 360 to the USB stick and then from the USB stick to your new Xbox 360. Though obviously, depending on how much data you've got and how big your USB stick is, it could be quite a time-consuming operation. In the My Xbox tab, head over to System Settings, then select Memory, and then USB Storage Device. Click on Configure Now to format the USB device for the Xbox 360. Once you've formatted your memory units, click on Hard Drive, and then press Y to transfer content. Select your destination device as the memory unit, and then choose the items you want to copy over. Hit Start when you're done. If your USB stick is smaller than the amount of data you have on your hard drive, you may have to deselect certain items in order to copy them over. But you can always do it in several chunks. One thing you ought to do if you have a large selection of Xbox Live Arcade titles or downloadable content is transfer your content licenses from your old Xbox 360 to the new one. This will allow you to play Xbox Live Arcade games without being connected to Live and also allow other profiles on your new Xbox to play those games as well. To do this, you'll need to note down the serial numbers which can be found on the back of both your new Xbox 360 and your old one. Then head over to www.xbox.com DRM and follow the instructions there. There's even a video by Major Nelson if you need a bit of extra help. One element of the new Xbox 360 you might not be familiar with unless you had a wireless adapter for your old one is the wireless network settings. They can be found in the My Xbox channel under System Settings and then Network Settings. Click on Configure Network and then select the first option that comes up in the Basic Settings pane. Click Scan for Networks and then choose the appropriate network name. You may have to enter a security code in order to connect. So there you have it. Hopefully you should now be prepared to upgrade from your old Xbox 360 to the slinky new one when it's released on Friday. Don't forget to pick up a copy of the latest OXM on shop shelves now to find out more about the future of the Xbox 360.